Good evening, beautiful angels and wise ones. It's Samantha Honey Pollock, and I'm bringing you this Christmas Eve message from my attic apartment in Barcelona, outside the Basilica Santa Maria del Mar. It's just heating up with accordion players, people standing outside with their coats on, um, buying last-minute gifts and having wine poured for them um, in anticipation of the Midnight Mass, which I'm looking forward to attending as well. It's always the same with this time of year, isn't it? We don't really know uh, who we're dealing with <laughs> in terms of our family or friends, what they believe, but the spirit of love shines through, and that's what we need to ground ourselves in, that this is a time of generosity and that prayer is always welcome. So I'd love to read you this prayer from my new book that's been released, 365 Days of Angel Prayers. And I am one of 160 authors in this amazing analogy. You won't see my name on the cover. You will see me on April the 15th. And uh, Blessed um, Management Committee also requested me to do the angel prayer for December 25th. So here it is. It's the first time I've read this aloud, to be honest with you. You can find it in the book, and I'll, I'll um, put the link in below so you can click on the book and buy it and gift it to yourself for New Year or to someone you love every single day. You can wake up and see an angel right by your bedside. Some prayers are for abundance, some prayers are for relationships, some prayers are for healing, some prayers are for peace. And this one is a prayer for peace at Christmas. I call on the archangels in this prayer. You know how much I love them. And I'm going to gift you with another surprise between Christmas and New Year. You're going to love it anyway. <laughs> the prayer is called Angel... My angel submission. This is my second. Uh, calling the archangels for a beautiful Christmas. Calling the Archangels now to surround you this morning, to guide you through this lovely Christmas, to really help you celebrate this day in peace and faith and harmony. Whether you're alone or whether you're with lots of people, even if this isn't your faith, to celebrate this day, I really hope something that is it's just a peaceful day of joy and love for you. Archangel Jophiel, all these beautiful things I see. Please allow what is best for me. Archangel Michael with wings so strong, please show me in my family where I may have seen wrong. Archangel Raphael, tall and sweet, allow us all healthy choice to eat. And dear Archangel Metatron, you know so much. Make the technical knowledge I have for the young ones enough. And so it is. So as you know, these four archangels that guided me with this prayer have specific roles for us as we little human angels to direct us and guide us on that journey. Uh, Jophiel, the angel of beauty, teaches us to see the best in everything. Michael, of course, is a guardian and protector. Raphael is guardian of health. And Metatron is the guidance for all young souls or newbies or children on this planet or even adults who are young souls as well. <laughs> they tend to like video games and <laughs> things that we don't understand and they often turn to wiser souls. I'm saying wiser, older probably, <laughs> not wiser, to guide them in this way because we've been around on planet Earth so much longer than them. Um, but they have gifts, they have very special gifts, and if you can't help anybody who seems more technologically advanced, or in any way more advanced than you, but you really want to, then call on Archangel Metatron to help you, and he will intervene, and through you communicate in a way that that earthly being, that little earth angel, will really understand. So this was my first of three gifts between Christmas and the New Year for you. I hope you really loved it. And I do encourage you to pop on over to the uh, Amazon site of 365 Days of Angel, Angel Prayers. Uh, because 
it's a great I, I want you to buy the book, of course. We all do, or me, the, the, the authors and the management committee. But um, it's also a great resource to use to flip through to find a prayer that you might really resonate with. But that is a Christmas Day prayer, and I wrote it, and I really hope it resonates with you. And I'm really looking forward to talking to you later in the week. So, <laughs> happy Christmas. Love and blessings always.